Hi guys, today we're gonna be cooking a beautiful kafta burgers for you. We're gonna use the traditional shape and the hamburger patty shape. Hi guys, Manny from Gourmet Takeaway. Uh, we're gonna be making a nice uh, kafta recipe for you. And if you like, you can subscribe or join us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, whatever you like. So the recipe today is going to be uh, about the kafta kebab. And we're going to show you also how we do it into a burger and meatballs from the same kafta mixture. The recipe will be posted on uh, one of our social media channels and you can look it up and you can check the recipe and follow the recipe uh, as usual and as far as spices and the seasoning uh, will be always up to you and we hope you guys uh, uh, will try this recipe and uh, let us know uh, how you like it okay let's do this so first we have to prepare the meat uh, as you can see here we have uh, lamb and you can also use beef so what's up to you uh, what kind of meat you like to use or you can mix the two together so we're gonna grind the meat now we prepared uh, the meat we grind the meat here of course uh, you can buy your meat from uh, your butcher uh, or your supermarket uh, already ground uh, you know like a hamburger uh, type uh, grind okay after uh, we ground uh, the meat uh, now we're gonna prepare all the other ingredients here uh, we're gonna be needing parsley, onions, garlic, scallions, peppers. Um, and we're gonna prepare the seasoning. Uh, uh, we're gonna be using like uh, cayenne pepper, coriander, paprika, salt, pepper, whatever. It's up to you. These uh, seasonings uh, and spices are up to you and uh, we'll show you how we do it here we are uh, we prepared the parsley we chopped the parsley fine and this time we're adding chives and we have uh, finely chopped onions and garlic so what we're gonna do now to make these a little bit finer we're gonna put them in a food processor and process it for a short time yeah we added the, the garlic first here we added a little bit salt and we process it for a little short time and now we're going to be adding the onion and the rest of the ingredients here we are we put everything in the food processor and now we just process it for a very short time on pulse We process it for a very short time see it's nice and uh, evenly uh, minced here and now we're gonna add uh, the seasoning uh, to the meat and all the the desired uh, spices so your spices is gonna be up to you you just uh, look at the recipe and you can use the whole thing we're using or you just eliminate anything you don't like so now we're gonna add the seasoning here, the spices, the parsley, onions, garlic, chives to the meat. Okay. We're gonna add some pepper and salt. Okay. Here we're continuing to add the seasoning. This is dried mint. We use dried mint here. We use a strainer here to uh, 
to strain the mint with it all right that's a good way to do it okay okay so after we add the herbs and seasoning to the meat so we mix everything together gently like that all right so you mix everything together as you can see here Okay, so the kafta mixture is ready, but uh, before we start forming our uh, kafta patties or sausage type kafta, what we did is we took a little bit piece, uh, made a little uh, hamburger, and we're trying it uh, to see if the seasoning and spices is the way we like it. The kafta, yeah, you can shape it like a traditional uh, shape, like a sausage-like, and we'll show you how we do it. Or we could uh, form the kafta into patties, kafta patties like this, like hamburger. We'll show you how. You know, with the kafta mix, we can also make kafta meatballs, and they're so delicious. Uh, you use it like a, a regular meatballs with your tomato sauce or whatever sauce you like. And here with the, our kafta mix, we made delicious meatballs, and we made the kafta patties, hamburger shape, and we made the traditional kafta sausage shape burgers you know with the kafta burgers and kafta patties here the hamburger you can either grill them uh, put them over charcoal or a regular grill but uh, today we're gonna show you how we do it in the oven so we're gonna be convection uh, roasting them on a 350 degrees oven Here we are, we baked the kafta today for you and how they look delicious. We baked them for 10 minutes, that's all it takes. You can serve uh, the kafta for lunch or dinner, like a nice combination dish. Here, kafta burger with uh, Burgol pilaf and string bean with tomato sauce and here with the combination the burger shape and the sausage shape kafta and with assortment of vegetable and burger pilaf and here the meatballs you can serve them as hors d'oeuvres like that or you could use it with any of your favorite sauce tomato sauce or otherwise and you can serve them for hors d'oeuvres or for a meal. You can use the kafta as well uh, in a roll up uh, like shish kebab as well. Okay guys, hope you uh, tried this recipe and uh, you let us know how it came out. All right, bye for now.